Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about an incredible utility called EtchDroid. This is an open source application that allows you to write disk images to USB drives directly from any Android phone. The best part about this app is its accessibility. It works on almost any modern Android device, and unlike many system tools, it works entirely without root access. So why would you need this on your phone? Imagine this scenario. Your laptop is completely dead. Maybe the operating system has crashed, you are facing a black screen, or you simply need to reinstall your system. Usually, to fix this, you would need a second working computer to download an operating system and create a bootable USB drive. But if your laptop is dead, you might not have that second computer. That is where Etchdroid saves the day. It turns your smartphone into a bootable media creator. You simply download the disk image to your phone, plug in a USB drive, and write the new operating system right there in your hand. However, because phones operate differently than computers, especially regarding power output, we need to be very specific about hardware compatibility. You can use standard USB flash drives. You can also use USB SD card adapters. You'll connect these to your phone using a USB OTG or on-the-go adapter. Here is what does not work, and this is important to avoid frustration. Do not try to use USB hard drives or external SSDs. These devices usually require more power than a phone can provide. USB docks and USB hubs are generally not supported. You cannot use the internal SD card slot inside your phone. It must be an external USB connection. Also, optical drives, floppy disk drives, and Thunderbolt-only devices are not supported. Once you have the right hardware, you need to choose the right software image. EdgeDroid is built primarily for the Linux ecosystem. It fully supports modern GNU Linux operating system images. This includes popular distributions like Arch Linux, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Pop OS, and Linux Mint. It also supports FreeBSD and Bliss OS. It supports Raspberry Pi SD card images. However, please note, you must unzip the Raspberry Pi image file first. The app cannot read the zipped archive directly. Finally, we need to address Windows and Mac OS users. EtchDroid does not support official Microsoft Windows ISO files downloaded from Microsoft.com. It also does not support Apple DMG disk images or very old Linux images from before 2010. You may find community-built Windows images online that claim to work with EtchDroid. Please be extremely careful with these. They are not official and they may contain viruses or malware. It is highly recommended to stick to the supported official Linux images to ensure your device remains safe. That is your complete guide to EtchDroid. It is a powerful tool to keep in your digital toolkit for emergencies. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.